Guys, it has been a rough two years. Since I started this channel, I have been bombarded with why are you so against R? R is great for statistics, it's better than Python, it's better for data science and all of this stuff. No, it's slightly better at confidence intervals and that's it. If you go to do any normal coding, if you want to import any libraries, Python's got it for you. If you want to do machine learning, it's your only choice. R is not going to do that for you. Do you see anyone using PyTorch or TensorFlow or there's no other libraries really to do machine learning? It's in Python. Companies have been against me for this, at least claiming to partially because Google made the analytics certificate in R. And so, so many people are like, guys, are like, Greg, if R is the language of choice by Google, of course, it's a good idea. R is not the language of choice by Google. They don't test interviews at all in R. They do test it in Python and JavaScript. That's a great language as well. They are mixed. For some silly reason, they made the analytics certificate in R. Finally. They have agreed with me, or at least admitted it. Today, check out this course. Here it is, at long last, the Google Advanced Data Analytics Professional Certificate, yada, yada, yada. It's in Python. Thank freaking God. Okay, so no need for the R1. For some reason, they're claiming that it's advanced and that this is for those already in the industry. But if you look at the courses that you would take, Foundations of Data Science, Get started with Python. You define what a programming language is and why Python is used. You don't need to be already in the field to learn what a programming language is. Okay, they're doing this because they're saying, hey, probably take the R course first because that's the basic data analytics. And then after that, you can go get your advanced analytics. No, that's fine. I'm sure you can start with this, although I haven't taken it myself. You can see the material right here. It's beginner level and it's going to be just fine. Go get your data insights, power of statistics, regression, machine learning, and then a capstone project. Okay, there's no need to do all that other stuff. If you do want to do that, that's fine. But I would at least recommend doing the IBM one instead of the Google one because then you're learning R and then you're scrapping that and learning Python. They're pretending that this makes sense on top of the R one. It doesn't unless you really want to learn both languages. But I think that's a massive waste of your time. Just take this course. Okay, best of all, on top of all of this, it's included with Coursera Plus. So in the description of the video, I'll show you Coursera Plus. I'll show you the certificate. It. it is an affiliate relationship, so if you buy anything, then I do get a cut, and I appreciate that. If you were even thinking about taking the R course, tsh, I, for legal reasons, this just means that I'm waving my hand in the air. It's not that. Don't take the R course. Take the Python one. Take some other courses. That's fine. But if you're going to learn from Google and you care about their brand name and you want the certificate from Google, I wouldn't blame you. Do this. Bye, guys. See you later.